This video on Escape the Aoki will be one of the most challenging and most difficult things we've ever done inside of this game. Let me tell you why. Not only are we going to be completing the entirety of this game, starting from chapter one all the way through chapter three, but we're gonna be doing all of it without a flashlight. Well, what is going on guys? PTS42 here, and welcome back to Escape the Aoki. Before we go ahead and start this video, if you guys haven't already caught up with the entirety of this series, okay, I've got four videos on the game, it's in a playlist, it's in the card section right up there, and in the description, make sure you guys go watch that to catch up with the series before continuing this video. After everything we have been through in the Aoki's Mansion, we have beat this game a total of two times, and we are going to be attempting to do it a third time, but we're doing it without a flashlight. All right, and that actually terrifies me. You thought the game was dark and difficult before? Well, this adds a whole new layer of difficulty to the game. This is the part of the intro where I'm supposed to ask you guys to like the video, but I'm just assuming by now that you know that you should like the video if you enjoy it, so... Like the video. And here we are, waking up for the third time. Yeah. I don't like this at all. So the first thing that we're going to do is not pick up the flashlight, all right? We're going to completely ignore that. And what I, what I'm going to do is sprint over here because there should be a candle right over here and I need this cuz candles are the only source of light that we can actually pick up and use throughout this playthrough of Escape the Aoki. We're going to come in here. We're going to open the secret door right here. That'll open that up and then we just have to wait for the Aoki to bust through that door once again. You guys know how how chapter one goes by now and now we now we just play the waiting game what the hell was that he's back he broke down the door we're making our way in there all right let's go sprint jump sprint jump hopefully he doesn't hear that hopefully he does not hear that we're on our way I think we're good. I don't think he heard us. Yes. Now, depending on where these items spawn will depend on how we have to play the next portion of this level. And they're not over here. That's a good sign. If the key is not in this room, we'll honestly be good to go. So the key isn't in here, which is perfect. I just need to make sure that the Aoki isn't over here either. That's very important. Both of the key items should be near the sacrifices, at least somewhere in this area. I don't know exactly where they are. I know there's a couple of, of different spawn locations in here. I think I actually see the crowbar over here, or they, that could have been the keys. So we got the keys right here. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up and then I'm gonna run over here and this is where things get really difficult. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this candle, drop the key over there, and then I am going to toss the candle down there and that'll give us a little bit more light to work with and then pick up the keys and make our way over towards the candle and unlock the door and then find the crowbar and get the attic. We seem to be okay. Let's unlock it. Don't open it yet. All right, let's open the door to the attic. Open that, sprint jump up here. And we're good. We're safe. And we got the crank right there. Let's go. Now we just got to wait for him to go away and make our way into the study. Now the only thing I can't actually see in here whatsoever. I'm going to drop that there. Give me that. Okay. Bring this in here. That's right there. Toss that in there. Give me the piece. Got it. Make our way in here. Put this in the freaking fuse box. Turn it on. Hopefully that gives us a little bit more light to work with. We're good. Let's open this. Come in here, and I don't think the Aoki's gonna come in here. I don't think he can. I got it. If I close this, that should be it. Let's go. All right. Come in here, grab the candle, most importantly, so we can find the key, which is where exactly? All right, I see it. Grab the key. Grab this. Right there. This is basically what we're doing. We're, we're juggling these items because I need them. I need all of them. Once we get in here, we have this candle for our escape. So we'll be able to see through this hallway. We're good. I set this up perfectly. Open the door, make our way in here. And now we just need to find the key. I saw it. I saw the key. It was glowing. Got it. I picked it up in the dark. We're good. Pick that up, toss it, pick up the key. All right, I'm sprinting this out. I'm sprinting this out. Come on, come on, click. Come on, we did it. We did it! Chapter one is done!
Oh, that took me 35 minutes, all right, with no flashlight. We got to speed things up. And here we are at the start of chapter two. I can't believe we actually beat chapter one without a flashlight. But the thing is, if you guys know me, you know that I know chapter two in and out almost completely. So I think we've got this one in the bag and it should be one of the easiest chapters compared to chapter one and I guess chapter three. All right, well, I'm gonna set something up real quick. Um, I'm gonna toss this over by the stairs. All right, pretty good toss. And then this one I'm going to keep on me. And then if it will let me take it, thank you. Okay, it's right here. All right, we got this. Uh, I'm gonna toss that over there, grab this, sprint over. All right, and then I'm gonna run down here and I'm gonna toss that down. All right, I guess we'll put it right there, that's fine. Let's grab the clock hand, take this, and we're gonna put that back on the clock. Turn around, grab our candle, and then just continue on. We need to get the blue key, and no, we need to get the we need to get the blue key and the other handle, and we're still good to sprint. We just gotta do this. We gotta get this done. The clock piece is right here. Let's grab that and put it on the freaking clock. Take the second hand, plop that on the clock, sprint back over to the candle, and then now the Aoki is going to be active, but I think we're still good to sprint around the mansion until we actually unlock the blue door. That's what I think. Come over here, and we have the blue key right here. So let's pick that up, drop that, take the blue key. Strategy time. I'm putting the blue key right there. As you can see, we have a surplus of candles. So before we actually open the blue door, I'm going to lay these around the mansion so we can actually have little beacons of light showing us where we need to go. And I think that's going to be extremely useful. Let's drop the candle, pick up the blue key that I threw right there, unlock the door, open it, pick up the candle and be quiet. Here we go. Time for the clock puzzle. We gotta solve this. There it is. All right, where's the key? Where'd the key spawn? All right, it's not down here with me, which means it must have spawned up there. So let's grab that. I don't see it up here. Okay, there it is. All right, we got the white key. So strategy time. Candle, key, and slowly move, because the Aoki will most likely come towards this candle. Just let me go! That was freaking tense, dude. The kitchen is right over here. We just have to unlock this door, grab the candle, get in the cave. Let's go. Just keep moving and we'll be fine. We're good. We're good. Now I have no idea how I'm gonna get the key out of the cave, but I guess we'll just figure it out. Where is this key gonna be at? That's what we need to know. I see the key right here. Toss the candle, grab the key. This is literally what I have to do. Like literally what I have to do all the way through the entirety of the cave. We made it through the cave. That was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Now we just need to make it to the door and escape. And we beat chapter two. The fire has spread. We have no more need for candles. We are good. The hardest part about this is you have no idea where he is. And he can literally come from anywhere. All right, I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting. Let's go, let's go. Yes! Chapter two is done with no freaking flashlight. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. And here we are back at the start of chapter three. We've got this on lockdown, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta find the crank for the uh, door over here in the fuse box. And I know there's a handful of locations where it could possibly be. So let's go check those out. There it is. Of course, it was right by the freaking stairs. That's fine. Toss the candle over there and let's pick that up. Come on, let me get that. Put that in, pull the lever. All right, we pulled it, it's on. Here comes the Aoki. All right, gotta get back to the candle as soon as I possibly freaking can, dude. Pick up the candle, got it. All right, here we go. We're good to go. Now we just have to open this door. That's All right, here comes the Aoki. We gotta be quiet. Where'd he freaking go? Is he still up there? I guess so. All right, here he comes. He's not in front of us. He's, mo oh, coming through the water. Here we go. We should see him in a second. 
Unless he just wants to stay up there. That'd be completely fine with me if you want to stay up there, buddy, all right? Next thing we need to do is find the key card. Now, there's a couple of different areas where it could be in. Uh, it's not here, so that means it's got to be over in this direction. So what we're going to do is I'm going to drop the candle here because there are lights scattered throughout this tunnel. And hopefully we should be able to find our way through here into the other room and be good. Oh, the key card is actually right here. I see it. I'm gonna take that key card and we're gonna make our way towards the door. Let's pick up our candle. We got the key card right there. Toss the candle over there, grab the key card, sprint jump. And I still haven't seen the Aoki. I still don't think he's even followed us over here yet, which is interesting. Grab the candle, toss it over there, grab the key card, and let's unlock this door and pick up the candle. Give me the candle. Yes, here we go. All right, we're making good, good progress right now. Hop in the boat. Let's go for a little bit of a boat ride. And uh, this guy just pops up out of nowhere again. The boat has been docked and we are going to sprint because we know the Aoki is going to start swimming over here. And I'm just going to try to make as much freaking progress through this area as I possibly can. All right, I'm stopping. Get away from me. This is bad. I gotta toss the candle. I'm gonna lose it. Just beat it already! No! Dang it, dude. No! That's our first death! No! Oh, we came so far without dying, too, though. Dang. Let's give that another shot. I'm gonna sprint this out again, but I'm not gonna sprint for as long. Once we get past this log... I'm not sprinting anymore. Not again. Here we go. Making progress. We got a little bit more light in here. I need to be very quiet. I do not want him sneaking up on me. We're good. He ran off that way. We're on the path. We're going in the right direction. We actually made it through. That was insanely tense, dude. What? What is this? The summoning circle. There was something here the entire time. What? Oh, I'm getting chills. Let's go. Go, go, get in here. I don't know, I might die here. Go, go, just go through, go through, go through. Where is this gonna freaking take us, dude? Oh, oh. It just spit us out. But where the freak are we right now? What is this place? Chapter four? Chapter four. The void. The void? What? And we have a flashlight. Uh, I'm gonna take this now. Freaking thank you, jeez. Where are we supposed to go? What are we supposed to do? And is the Awoki here too? That's what I need to know. That's what we need to know right now. These other things have lights too. What does that mean? They're like floating orbs. This is so creepy, dude. Is there something over there? Is that something? I think I see something in the distance, potentially. It could just be a rock. It is a rock, okay, it it is, oh! That looks promising. All right, let's uh, investigate this. Wait a minute. It's the thing from the freaking trailer. Is it good, is it bad, is it gonna kill me? All right, I'm gonna follow it. I think he's leading me somewhere. It does want it. All right, he wants us to follow him, so we'll follow him. And he's emitting rats from from him for some reason. Things seem to be getting a little bit brighter now. More interesting looking, a lot of blobs all over the place. I don't know what the blobs or the lights, like the orbs of light represent, but we're just gonna have to experience this and go through it. I'm hearing some weird things now. Weird voices. Ooh, we must be getting close to our destination, potentially. Are we here? Is this where we need to go? I guess this is the direction he wants us to go in, so thank you for leading me here. I hope I never see you again, to be completely honest. And what is this? All right, is this a cutscene? I think so. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Oh! What is this? What is that? The void thing. What does that mean? Game complete. You've seen the void. Nothing will be the same again. Achievement unlocked chapter four. What does that mean though? What 
does that mean? Model viewer? Oh, that's new. All right. I want to check that out real quick. Let's let's check that out. Might be able to get some good thumbnail action. <laughs> what I'm saying. Aoki stage one. Dude, this is dope. Oh my god. And it's at the front of the mansion too. Dude, this is super cool. Stage two. Yeah. Don't like the way he looks. Definitely not. And we got him. We get to look at him from the void as well. So he must have been a secret character. And only those who have experienced the void can see him. What's after him? Question marks. There's another secret character in this game. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, there you have it then, guys. This has been another episode of Escape the Aoki, potentially the final episode of Escape the Aoki. And my goodness, what an experience this game has been. From our first playthrough, completing everything and getting the bad ending, and then our second playthrough, getting the good ending, and then this being our final playthrough of the game without using a flashlight and entering the portal and going into the freaking void. I don't really know if there is anything else hidden within this game. As far as endings go, I think we actually completed every single ending. I'm not 100% sure on that because I guess we didn't actually escape the Aoki's mansion without using a flashlight because I, I picked up the flashlight. But once we went into the void, I don't think we actually ever escaped. I think we just got lost in the void so unless one of you guys watching knows something about the game that i might have missed or the developer decides to share some more information with me i think this is going to be the final episode of escape the aoki but if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it definitely be sure to leave a like on this video and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing but with all that stuff said you guys i will see you in the next video so until then keep on being stellar